it really feels good to be out here in the park early this morning. Yes, especially when it is Francis Lewis Park. Did you know that Francis Lewis was also a sign of the um, Declaration of Independence? Yeah, yeah I did know I did know that. Yeah. It's kind of early to be in the park, but as you notice, it's not just us. Yeah, this temperature is really nice out here. I think I saw on my phone it was 79 degrees, which is really nice and comfortable. Yeah, and it's um, really shaded. So even if the sun was out, we wouldn't be having like a lot of sun pelting down on us. Yeah, it's shaded because the sun is rising over there in the east and the trees are that way. But let it get to be midday and it's going to be directly overhead and it's going to be like in the 90s today. Hey, can you get that bird right there? That's a cat bird. I'm not sure the camera will um, camera will pick it up as good as we're seeing it. Those birds they mimic dogs and cats and sometimes even people depends on the song you're making. You mean they're really meow and purr? Yeah. And bark? Yeah, they mimic people and animals. That's amazing. You mean kind of like a, a parrot? Yeah, um, maybe. Maybe not as good as a parrot, but. Look at all this green space here, really large green space. Wow, the White Stone Bridge. That looks good. Do you have any idea how old that bridge is? No, not at all. It's 81 years old now. They started construction of that bridge in uh, 1939, and it's been continuing. That's a whole lot of years, but it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, you know, really, I thought it was older than that. And then 81 years old. I thought it was only 81 years old, yeah, really. I mean, it's really in great shape. Good morning. How you doing? Hello. Fine, thank you. Not that it looks like it's older than 81 years old, because it doesn't. No, it looks pretty good. The river was all the way up here. I guess we're having low tide right now, right? Oh, it's lower tide, yeah. For how far out the water is. Well, yeah, it looks like the water was all the way up there. Yeah, it was. I'm sure the sand is still there. Because that's algae and seaweed back up there. Yeah. We well, can see by the water marks on the rocks back there. Also. Yeah, even over this side here to my left. Wow. Look at that. The water was all the way up there. Yeah. I'm going to walk over there. This is really nice, though. You know, this is a part of the East River? Yeah. Do you know how long the East River is? No, no, no. Um, it is 16 miles long and it runs all the way um, to connect to the Hudson River 
by way of the Harlem River. Did you say six zero or one six? Sixteen, one six. Like those stretch of yeah. And as I say, um, it runs all the way to connect to the Hudson River by way of the Harlem River. At different um, places, some places um, the river is wider than others due to the space that it has. But here, yeah, it's that long, 16 miles. You notice over the years when there's uh Maintaining this bridge, how they'll start the maintenance on one side uh -huh. and just continual maintenance. And it seems like when they get to the other side, it's time to start all over again. Yeah, but it's a really long bridge, so you know that is what you should expect. But um, where does this bridge connect you to and from? Well, it comes from Queens. Uh, and actually, the mouth of the bridge from the Queen side is in Whitestone and it goes over into uh, the Bronx. Talking about the Whitestone, did you know that um, Dutch farmers found Whitestone in 1645? I have no idea. Yeah, and they named, the name derived, Whitestone derived from a large white boulder that broke tides along the shore. Wow. Yeah, that's interesting. That's yeah, which when you read it and find out that for yourself, then it makes sense. You see the water was all the way up here. Look at the seaweed. It's kind of neat but a bit um, yucky at the same time. It looks almost like red horseradish. I'm not sure if I've ever seen horseradish. But it's really neat. Imagine on a really hot day and you're here, like just wading in the water. Oh yeah. I have to take another look at that river. All this green space. That's a really large green space. You can have a whole lot of people picnicking at the same time. Mm -hmm. But like now when people are practicing social distancing, I'm not sure how well that will work out. Do you think they picnic in this park? I don't see any picnic benches at all. No, that would be a barbecue area. You can do picnic in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess. It was a steep hill, right? Yeah, felt it. Oh, here they have a monument. The 
it says Francis Lewis Park, named in honor of Francis Lewis, signer of the Declaration of Independence and a resident of Whitestone, New York. Did you know that Francis Lewis also supplied goods to the British troops during the French and Indian War from 1755 to 1763? Yeah. Most of these parks they have a lot of history behind them. Or at least the persons that they are named after. A lot of history come comes along with that person. Here you have a nice view but the trees are a bit tall right now not the trees really the bushes in between you yeah, see so you can um like you're still up here and look at the east river some of the trees look like they're growing out of the side of the ground yeah but that's what, where trees go go from no, out the side the sideways instead of oh okay vertical, okay like yeah almost horizontal yeah i guess what you're saying most of that though, i think they're growing from roots instead of like um, independent trees, you know. Wait, let me go to my right since I was just inside there. Yeah. So you can even see handball courts on the other side over there and basketball court. Yeah, but you see like yeah. that area is closed because the gate is right there. Yeah, maybe also because of social distancing they haven't opened up some of the parks so all of the closed activity. Yeah, I guess that's what is happening. pine trees. I love the smell of pine. Yeah. Look at the playground area there. Yeah, and it is closed as well. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yes, it is. Look at the gate. There's no. a chain and lock on it. No. Oh, one side is open. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go inside. This rock is so cool. You think that's possibly sculpture? I'm not sure. It looks like. Yeah, and the park is very child-centered. You have didactic materials here. Very kid-friendly. Mm -hmm. Ergonomic looking benches. Uh -huh. Did you know that Prince Lewis Park was part of the Bronx Whitestone Project? It started in 1937 and went through 1941 and as you can see it's evidently been updated over the years 
Yeah, I knew that. And also the Ferry Point Park, which is located in Bronx. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's also part of the project. I know a little bit of history too, maybe not as much as you, but a little bit. Yeah, as I said before, these parks have a lot of history behind behind them. And here is a sign, it reads Francis Lewis Park Fitness Park. Park, baseball court, playground, restroom. And I'm going to exit the park at this side. Oh wait, I missed something there. It says little free library. So this is a free library with books inside. That's really neat and thoughtful. This is a beautiful park indeed. I'm sure Francis Lewis is really proud, what do you think? Huh? Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is proud. Yeah, they did him well. No barbecuing in this area. Yeah, I would definitely say this is in honor of him, yeah. Yeah. He would be honored if he were here today. Yeah. And I think we started the day really well. Yeah, it's good to get an early, early start. Instead of early to bed, early to rise, makes a man or woman healthy, wealthy, and wise. Well, too bad we have to go on and get back to reality, you know? Instead of being here, just enjoying the park. It was pretty good, though. Oh, I think this right here is reality. I you, think the other stuff we've been, been doing sometimes is a fantasy. Or at least I'd be hoping it. <laughs> this right here is a dream come true. 